Hi, and welcome to another episode of Shopping for the Real You. I am Andrea Flommer, the author of Shopping for the Real You. And because it's on everybody's mind these days, today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be talking about health because beauty and fashion means nothing if you don't have your health, right? So my wonderful guest today is Agneta Sundberg. She's a certified holistic health coach drawing her expertise from the many different places that she has lived around the world. And she is very knowledgeable. So welcome, Magneta. Thank you for coming back again. Thank you for having me back again. It's great to be here. And right. you are, are so on top of things. It is crazy right now. Oh, but it's just thing that is bombarding us from uh, the moment we open our eyes. It's like we need a, a toxic ability just to kind of um, get away from from all the news and all the information and as we know that affects our look and how we feel both externally and internally so yeah it, it's um, it's definitely an opportune time to kind of turn inside and get back into ourselves where we can make sane decisions because it's a it's it's um it's not only taking care of our health, it's taking care of our emotional health too. And that is going to come into what we're going to talk about today. So absolutely. Uh, before we get into the into the area that I just love talking about, which has to do with essential oils, um, I want you to describe what you talk about on your website uh, as the three pillars of wellness. So can you describe what those are and explain how using essential oils fits into that? Absolutely, I'm happy to. That's my passion. And I like to um, use those three pillars because the same reason, we need a foundation. We need something that provides structure and meaning for what we do and the healthy habits that we build. Nutrition being at the essence. Yes, we are what we eat. And more importantly, or at least at, at, on the same par, is we are what we absorb. And our ability to absorb in, in the gut is uh, heavily affected by our immune system. Everything kind of keeps to going together. We are a, um, a body that is really working together. But on the, uh, on the purpose of nutrition, it's critical that we chew our food, that we um, eat well, so that the absorption is bringing the nutrients out. And the essential oils can be essential in that. And we'll get back to that in a moment. And the uh, second part of, uh, of my triangle, if you will, is exercise. And it doesn't have to be that serious. Exercise, we kind of like, okay, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna really push and power through. It can be movement and even micro movement. It can be getting out of the chair if we're sitting in front of a computer a lot and working and move around. So my, my real uh, message is get in there where it feels like it's a big yes. That's when the body will benefit more and better uh, from whatever we, we offer. And at least, as you mentioned, mood, mindfulness or stress response is something that is so big right now. And the essential oils on an emotional level can help us tremendously to come back into ourselves when we hear something that is uprooting and, and we kind of almost take our attention out and away from ourselves. It's stressful. It's like an attack on our immune system and our whole physical body. So to be able to strengthen our immune system and our immune response, that is an important part. So those three together will kind of bring a cohesiveness to what we want to offer and uh, talk about today. And I'm excited. I love that. It's, it's so logical. It's so intelligent. It's so holistic. I mean, I know that word is thrown around a lot, but this really is holistic. Okay. So... Let's get into the, the meat of it. And um, what are one of the one or two or more specific oils or formulas that 
you recommend uh, to keep our immune system boosted during these times and during the flu season in general? I am reaching for what I have put up here in front of me for On Guard. And On Guard comes in many variations. And I'm reaching at the forefront right now for the uh, sanitizing mist, a spray that is containing over the threshold recommended, over 60% alcohol. And it has a wonderful addition of apple, apple um, pectin to make the hands softer because alcohol is so drying. Mm -hmm. And the essence of oils is on guard in that um, a composition. So here we have pure on guard oil that is a combination of oils that are really high in anti antioxidants and have a purification ability that combined with this synergistic blend is just one of my absolute to go and favorites. They have oils like clove and cinnamon, rosemary, and this can be used in any of the three ways that we most often talk about when it comes to essential oils, topically on the body, and as well ingest this oil and have it in the diffuser. I'm, I'm sure you have, there are many different diffusers out there. This is uh, the one that I have going right now. Yes, with On Guard. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, definitely the one to go to. This can be massaged into the feet. There are many different pathways in the body that we can use the oil. So that's why we have both the topical and the internal and um, uh, diffusing. So when we diffuse, the, oil, the molecules are tiny particles that we both take in through just um, smelling and in through the skin. And when we put them topically, like in this case, I'm suggesting on the feet, that's another pathway, another delivery system. And on top of it, we can uh, use the oil and ingest it. So that would be uh, one of my absolute number one oil to, to have on hand and to use on a daily basis. Gargle, last but not least, if there's anything uh, opportunistic is, that's trying to enter through our mouth, which is a very easy way to access our lungs and the respiratory system, a couple of drops in a small amount of water, do the thing, gargle, and get that going for a minute, spit it out, do that several times a day, super. It, it, it just is great for the gum and for the teeth and all, all that extra benefits. That's terrific. Now, I had a question about that on guard. I, I carry the hands, the, the spray one with me. Yeah. Um, the, the, the formula called on guard spray. And you said something extremely interesting to me once when, before I got interested in all this in detail was that um, it's been shown to be in hospital settings and we know that hospitals are sort of carriers of some of the worst um, sort of uh, bacteria that, that normal things won't kill. But you said this kills MRSA, M-R-S-A. Um, and I also want to know, you know, we're, everybody's using these very drying hand sanitizers. I much prefer to use the On Guard spray. Can you talk a little bit about both those things? How MRSA kill, I mean, how On Guard kills MRSA and how this is different from hand sanitizers? So what I will say to that, I will stick to, um, because it's important to not be into any diagnosing of, of anything in particular. So we'll stay with viruses, bacteria, even the, the, the most potent bacteria, uh, viruses and germs, yes, have been proven to, um, to be killed. So if you have a stainless steel, like in a hospital, that was where the clinical testing was done, there, there was actually a, um, a test and a, a before and after. So that is, uh, that's good. Thank you for, for reminding me, which is uh, why the hand sanitizing spray here has been created so that we can spray it on hard surfaces and on our hands and have on the go um, every day. 
So here is 64% alcohol and the on guard. And then you have the apple pectin, which makes the hands again softer. So that combination in a proprietary blend is what I think makes this an outstanding alternative, not to mention the amazing scent that the combination of oils is bringing, bringing forth. Yeah, so I love the fragrance of it. So that's fantastic. So that's for basic prevention. Now, let's say um, you, you actually for, feel like you're actually starting to get some kind of bug, like maybe you have a sore throat or um, whatever other the symptoms are that they're describing these days. Are there any recommendations you can make for once you actually have contracted something? Here is, is a time to take it up a notch or more. And that's when it's perfect to use the oils internally. So that's another, again, different pathway. And that reaching for the on guard, we stay with that as a base. So in a veggie capsule, this little vegetable capsule that you can take the top off of, and, take, and drop the oils into and close and take with water is the perfect and easy delivery system. So two drops of On Guard and two drops of tea tree oil or Melaleuca. And last, but again, far from least, this is a master oil and fantastic oregano oil. Mm -hmm. So we'll top it off with three. So two drops of On Guard, two drops of tea tree oil, and three drops of the master oil, oregano oil. And taking that three times a day, so morning, midday, and before bedtime, is a perfect way to get that extra boost, taking it up a few notches, and do that for three to four days. And I can tell you, that it's been uh, saving our family many, many times when, um, when stuff has been kind of knocking on the door and you wanna just be able to close that door. Yeah, Quick. Friend, I mentioned this to a friend of mine and she said, first of all, you told me once before that oregano is a hot oil, so you don't wanna put it directly into your mouth. You have to put it in that veggie cap. Very good reminder. Yes, it's referred to as a hot oil, and that means that the mucous membranes in, in your throat, in your mouth, would not really like it. And your skin won't like it either. So if there ever happens to be that you put something accidentally, certainly wash your hands after, then you want to use another oil. It can be a coconut oil, it can be a uh, avocado oil, whatever you have hand, even olive oil like we all have uh, in the kitchen. That's what you do instead of what we all often think about. Oh, I'm going to get some water in here. Nope, water won't do it. It will do the opposite. Water and oil do not mix. So you reach for another oil and that's what you dilute with. But for this uh, purpose, yes, when you want to get it into your body it, with that delivery system, you use a veggie capsule. Great, uh, great clarification there and kind of underscoring the importance of that. Well, the, I, I mentioned this to a friend of mine, and she said that she, um, she knocked out a sinus infection in one day using that combination with some oregano oil in one of those veggie caps. And I think she took, I think she said also three times a day. So I just, you know, this is anecdotal. Obviously, we are not medical doctors, and this is not you know, we're not giving you medical advice, we're giving you experiential information that has been extremely helpful and has had some pretty significant research behind it. So um, let me just ask two more quick questions because you know, our time is a little limited. Um, there are a lot of respiratory ailments going around right now, and that's the biggest concern. So are there any specific oils that you recommend that will directly target respiratory concerns. I'm reaching for breathe oil and a quick little a rewind because you reminded it's called, me. It's called breathe? Breathe oil, yes. And I will get back to that. Just want to tag along on another important note that you just um, anecdotal and what works and what we have seen again and again. 
it is important to use oils that are pure, mm -hmm. that are tested, and that um, they are efficient. Uh, pure and, 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 and efficient, we want them to do the job that we hire them, if you will, to do. So that is, uh, is key to add, and that's why we're talking about the oils that we do here, because you can actually go online and test them. Maybe you want to put that in your, your little uh, note, uh, how that works. You can actually find a, a, a number at the bottom to find that this is an oil and that is tested at a third party lab. That's pretty cool and, and, and awesome, I think. Back to breathe oil, just like the name it explains, it works with the respiratory system. So here is perfect to take a couple of drops. And when there is something going on, mm, love this. In the sinuses, in the, in the respiratory system, perfect entryway obviously to have in a diffuser and as close as possible at, at night in particular. This, this oil and blend combination, another master synergy blend is for external use. So you can put it on your chest topically and again diffuse or breathe in. So not an oil for internal use. But that is definitely an important one to, to have on hand and that clears even that um, breath that I took, I can feel it directly in, in my lungs. And it's a, it's a good one actually to um, get a little motivation going to. Good to open up the airways before we exercise, before we uh, go out for a walk or whatever it is again that we're doing that we call movement exercise to get our lymphatic system going because that's important as well to keep our immune system functioning. It's not a pump that works on its own. We gotta, we gotta kind of stoke it and we gotta get it going. And that's, um, that's what we do when we move. Well, and that's a perfect <laughs> entree to my last question because uh, coming back to the beginning, you talked about the three pillars of wellness and one of them was nutrition. Um, I've always felt, and especially in the study that I did of Ayurvedic medicine, that if you're not eating right, um, then it, it doesn't matter what else you do. So, but we, you know, we, we all make mistakes now and then, or we go to friends' houses, or we go out to dinner and we eat something that may not agree with us. So is there anything that you can recommend that will strengthen our digestive system? Because that's, that's like a, one of the building blocks of our immunity. Are there any specific oils that you know of that will help strengthen our, our digestion? strengthen and help us during um, those circumstances that you just mentioned. And yes, the digestive system and the microbiome, our gut health is completely uh, related as it's often mentioned, our second brain into the rest of the body and the immune system in, in particular, uh, even the majority of our immune system is built in our gut. Digest Zen to go ready to, to uh, be rubbed on the belly or taken in a, a warm, not hot, but like a tea. You can take that in a veggie capsule. This is, uh, this is an oil that I don't necessarily diffuse because it uh, needs to get right onto the topical area where we want it. Massage it gently clockwise into, um, into and around the, the abdominal area. And it has a fennel, it has a lot of actually a peppermint, some of those uh, oils that we think of even as uh, culinary medicinal oils. So um, th this, is, this is a super yummy oil that I like a lot. And lemon on that note, as more of a daily habit to strengthen. So to begin, even thinking of it as, okay, this is my wake up cocktail. I'm gonna hydrate, another super important key area, hydration, and knowing that drinking water is great, but it's not necessarily that we get fully hydrated. So adding an essential oil to our water is just one way to help to absorb for our uh, whole system and to get the water, the liquid, into our cells. 
starting with a couple of drops and a glass of water in the morning is breaking the fast of the night. And it's an easy, gentle detox and a, a super cool way to um, alkalize the beginning early in the day. We're often exposed to more, um, more acidic food, even our thoughts and the information we listen to and, our, and, and so on and so forth. So alkalizing with lemon essential oil is, um, is incredible and such an easy. I like when things are smooth and easy and can be implemented yeah, I, that's become my go-to morning thing is a couple of drops of that concentrated lemon oil. And I must say that um, these, are, these are specific oils that, that um, are made through doTERRA, which are very carefully researched and very carefully, they're very clean oils. I mean, if you're going to be ingesting something, or even if you're putting it on your skin, your body's going to absorb that. So you want to make sure that whatever oils you're using have no pesticides, no toxics. And I know the reason that I personally like these is that I know that they go through very intense purification processes. So I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to know about these. But I wanted to tell people that um, um, Agneta is extremely generous with her time. And she does a lot of um, personal consultations at no charge. Uh, isn't that right, Agna, that you, you will talk to people and give them some yeah. guidelines? I like to do that because it's, a, uh, it's important that we land with a little more information. We may hear things and making it more individual and personal. So I do offer a brief wellness consultation. And what that is, is a wellness conversation where I get to listen. And, and then I offer easy steps to introduce essential oils into your wellness care and your self-care routines. Because it's always individual. It's always personal. I mean, these, these are very good general ideas, but people have different needs at different times. So I think that's a fabulous. So how would people get in touch with you? The easiest way is to um, reach out to me via email. And that is my first name, Agneta, A-G-N-E-T-A, at lifeandwellness.co. No M there at the end. So Agneta at lifeandwellness.co. I'll make sure to, to write that um, in, the, in the bottom of the, uh, when I post this video. Great. And I look forward to speaking with you and hear what's going on in, uh, in your life. Yeah. I'll be glad to do that. <laughs> yeah, and, and I want to encourage people to do that as well. I think there's a lot of benefit and value to this. So and I was thinking of your listeners. I always love to talk to you, but I was thinking of you as being <laughs> listeners. <laughs> that too. <laughs> All right, Agneta, thank you so very much for joining us again today on Chopping for the Real You. And um, the very last thing you mentioned, uh, I want to talk to you about that in the future sometime, which is hydration. Oh, yeah. The real big one. Okay. So anyway, thank all of you for joining us today. And Agneta Sundberg of lifeandwellness.co, thank you again for joining us.